What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Oak Street Football Channel, and welcome to another 2020 college football schedule breakdown and record prediction video. Today, uh, I will be doing another Big Ten team. I will be doing the Michigan Wolverines. The Wolverines have been pretty good uh, for the past few years. They've been uh, consistently a pretty good team, usually ranked, um, and up there around 8, 9, maybe even 10 wins. But their problem is they cannot beat the uh best the better teams um specifically ohio state they just cannot seem to beat ohio state but it's similar to some of the other good teams they always have tr seem to have trouble in those games which is michigan's problem will they be able to get over that hump and be able to beat these teams such as ohio state uh, that is the question every year uh and it's being asked again this year um and today i'm going to ask answer that question at least for my prediction uh so they did lose a few players this offseason. They lost quarterback Shea Patterson, uh, center Cesar Ruiz, and uh, Josh Uche. Those are three important players they lost. At the quarterback position, uh, most likely Dylan McCaffrey will be their new quarterback. I don't think that's official yet, but I do believe he will be their starting quarterback. Uh, they play in the Big Ten, like I said, which I think is a pretty good conference. Should be pretty competitive this season with the likes of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Penn State, Ohio State, and, of course, Michigan. So I'm very interested to see how Michigan plays this year. Um, with that being said, let's get into looking at this. Uh, they went 9-4 last year. Not terrible. Not uh, great either, though. Uh, and the recruiting class ranked was number 14 in the country which is pretty good when you really think about it compared to some of the talent they lost. That is pretty good. I don't think that uh, all those guys are going to make an immediate impact, but eventually this recruiting class can help them maybe be good looking forward. Now, finally, on to their schedule. Week 1, they start off with a pretty tough game, which is not great. Uh, it's at Washington. Washington's a very interesting team. They definitely are good um, by Pac-12 standards. Uh, and they're probably just about average um, by standards for probably the Big Ten, I would say, because obviously the Big Ten is definitely a better conference than the Pac-12, but that is not taking anything away from Washington. They are still a very good football team, uh, which is why I could see Michigan having trouble in this game. Washington is the home team as well, which is uh, very good for them and not so good for Michigan. This is a very interesting one. It's a tough Tough game to start the season for both teams, and it's a tough one to predict as well. Uh, I do think that Michigan is better than Washington, but I, I am kind of leaning towards Washington just because they are still a talented football team, even though they are losing talent. They are still a good football team, and they are the home team, which is why I am leaning a bit towards Washington. Uh, I'm not saying that Michigan has no chance at this one. This one could go either way, in my opinion, uh, but I think the home field advantage will probably get it done for Washington, in my opinion. Uh, week two, they should have no problem, though. It's against Ball State at home. Uh, like I said, no problem here. This should be an easy win for Michigan. Uh, and if they don't win week one, uh, they should have at least one win at this point in the season. And they should definitely make that, too, because in week three, they have another incredibly easy game against Arkansas State. They should uh, roll over these two teams, have no problem. Two home games in a row against two uh, of, of worst teams. Uh, definitely the two worst on Michigan's schedule this season. They should have no problem whatsoever there. And they should be at least 2-1 and one this season uh, to start off, like I said. Week 4, we have another interesting one. It's against Wisconsin. Wisconsin was one of the teams that I mentioned that I think will be good in the Big Ten this season. Just because they have a lot of talent. Um, some people believe that they are going to be a lot better um, than I do. But I, that, I'm not taking anything away from them. I still think they'll be very good this season. Um, and it's going to be a very interesting game, this one. Michigan is the home side, which is very important. Um... I'm really, I'm really, it, this one's hard to pick. Wisconsin is the better team, in my opinion, but Michigan is a home team, and I don't think Michigan is that much worse than Wisconsin, but they're definitely not as good, I think that is safe to say. This is going to be an interesting one. Uh, Wisconsin is losing Jonathan Taylor, who was their star running back, uh, and we'll probably see a lot more passing from Jack Cohen this season, which I think there's a lot of potential for him. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, I'm not really sure who will win. Um... I, I I am kind of leaning to Michigan, but I, I also I could be I could say that it's Wisconsin. I could I could make an argument for both sides. Um, moving on to week five, this is another very very interesting game. 
uh, at home once again against Penn State. Uh, a lot of these games are where the team is playing. That's really going to decide, it, in my opinion. Like Washington, uh, Washington might win that because of the home team. Wisconsin, Michigan might win because of the home team, and Penn State maybe even they can uh, sneak out a big upset here because they're the home team. Uh, being the home team is very important in in college football, uh, but just in football in general. And some people really don't take that into account when they're making predictions. Um, it's very very important. Week five, like I said, they play Penn State. The Nittany Lions are definitely one of the best teams in the Big Ten. I think they could go eleven and one this season, maybe around ten and two. Uh, maybe if they can upset Ohio State and uh, win every other game, they can even go undefeated. I don't think that will be the case, but I'm not counting it out. Uh, Penn State has been consistently good. I think they'll be good again this year. This is going to be a tough one for Michigan, even though they are the home team. This is still going to be a tough one. Uh, this is definitely one of their toughest games of the season, uh, in my opinion. Uh, potentially along with some other games that we'll get into in a minute. Uh, but this is a tough one, and it's going to be tough if Michigan's going to win it, I think. I think it's a possibility, but it's going to be very, very hard for them to win. Week 6, they have a game that I don't think should be too hard for them to win. Uh, it's at Michigan State. Michigan State wasn't all that great last year, and they had a terrible offseason, as you probably know, losing a lot of talent. Uh, I believe losing their head coach as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they did lose their head coach. Um, so they just lost a lot. Not a good off season for them whatsoever, and it shouldn't be that good of a season for them, I don't think. Um, I, I really don't believe Michigan State will be that good of a team this year, and I don't think Michigan should have too much uh, too much of a problem with them. I, it could actually be pretty close, though, because Michigan State is the, is the home team, and uh, we've seen some good games between these two teams in the past, Michigan and Michigan State. I think this game might be pretty good, but I do think Michigan should win fairly comfortably. Week 7... Once again, a very, very interesting game against Minnesota. Minnesota is a very, very good team. Really came out of nowhere last season. Um, but now they're considered to being one of the better teams in the Big Ten looking forward to this season. Uh, I think they'll be pretty good. I really think it's going to be between them and Wisconsin to go to the Big Ten Championship in their side of the division. Um, uh, it's going to be a very interesting game. Minnesota is the better team, though, and Minnesota is the home team, which is why I think Minnesota has a very, very good shot at winning it. Um, I could see Michigan winning, but that chance is pretty slim. This is one of their tougher games of the season just because they're on the road. This is not their toughest opponent, but just because they're on the road, this is one of their toughest, tougher games of the season. I think it will probably be Minnesota, if I'm honest. I think Michigan has a chance, but Minnesota is definitely the favorites, I think, and they should probably win this game. Week 8 is a, another very interesting game. They have a lot of uh, interesting games this season against Purdue at home, uh, but Purdue. Purdue is a very interesting team to me. They they could be pretty good this season. I think they're going to be pretty good. Maybe even similar record to Michigan. Uh, I think that's a possibility because you look at that team, there's a lot of talent there. Um and they're really underrated this season. They could really surprise a lot of people. They're a team that does not get talked about enough whatsoever. I think they'll be pretty good. I understand that some people don't think they'll be good because they haven't really uh, haven't been great recently, but they have Rondell Moore, a wide receiver, and they just have a lot of talent all, all over that team. I just think it's going to be hard for Purdue to win this game because they're the, um, they are on the road, and uh, Michigan is still a good team, even though they do have some tough games this season and they're losing some talent from last year. Uh, Michigan's still a good team. I, I think Michigan will win. I think it's a possibility Purdue will win, but I think it will probably be Michigan uh, in this game. Week 9, they have a bye week. This is a pretty well-placed bye. I mean, it's not really in between any tough games, but in the season, it might be a bit too late, but yeah, it's definitely not too early. Maybe it's a bit too late, but uh, I don't think it's terrible. Week 10, they're playing Maryland. Maryland's a very interesting team because a lot of people were counting them out a few weeks ago, but now they made the transfer to get to, to, uh, to a Tagovailoa's brother, Tolia Tagovailoa. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, so, Talia is definitely not as good as his brother. I think that is uh, a safe, I think that's safe to say. But he is still a good quarterback. He's definitely the best Maryland has. And he should help Maryland be better than some people would have expect them, expected them to. I don't think it's going to make them that much better, though, because they really don't have much talent on that team overall. And this game being at home for Michigan, they should get an easy win in my opinion. 
Uh, week 11, they play Rutgers. Um, this one shouldn't be much of a challenge either. Rutgers, it just isn't that good of a football team. I, I think um, they're not terrible, but they're not that good either. And Michigan really shouldn't have that much of a challenge. Week 12, uh, it's it's an interesting game once again. Uh, it's against Indiana. Now, Indiana could be pretty good this season, I think. Um, definitely talented team. Very, very talented team. Um, and uh, they have a pretty simple schedule. I think, uh, obviously, they still have to play some tough teams, but um, it's not too tough a schedule. This game could be an interesting one. Michigan is the home team, which is very important. Um, but uh, maybe... Um, Indiana will be able to get an upset. I'm not counting that out. I do think that is a possibility. Uh, Michigan definitely is the better team, though, and probably will get the win. But I'm not counting Indiana out for this one. Uh, and then to end the season off, they have Ohio State. And I can't see them winning this game at all. Uh, Ohio State has just uh, dominated them for the past few years. It's been close at times, but uh, they've just won every single time. And I don't see a reason why they will not win again this season. Um. Yeah, they're just uh, too, too good, and they are good again this year, um, and they'll probably be good. They'll keep being good, most likely. Um, uh, so, yeah, I don't see them having uh, really that much of a chance in this game uh, at all, and I am definitely taking um, Ohio State. Now, as I always do, I'll go through each game once again, and I'll give my prediction for who I believe will win, and, of course, who I believe will lose. Week one at Washington. I'm actually going to take Washington in this one. I just think it'll be tough to Mich for Michigan to win in week one. Uh, I think it's two definite wins in uh, in week two and three. I actually think they'll beat Wisconsin. I think it'll be close, but I think they'll win. And then I think uh, Penn State will beat them. So two losses at this point. I think they'll beat Michigan State. I think they'll lose to Minnesota, though, just on the road. I don't think they'll be able to get it done. I think they'll lose to Purdue. It might be close, but they'll lose, I think. They then have the bye. I think they'll beat Maryland, Rutgers. I think they'll beat Indiana and then lose to Ohio State to give them a record of 8-4 and four on the year. They could be worse than this as well. I don't think they're going to be much better. Maybe they can go 9-3, and three, but I don't think it's going to be much better than that. I, I really think it'll be a down year uh, for Michigan this year. Uh, they just losing a lot of talent, and I don't think they'll be that good. Uh, maybe they also, uh, they'll. it's a possibility they lose to Wisconsin as well, of course. Um, and maybe they lose to Purdue or Indiana. I think it's a possibility that they uh, that they beat Penn State at home, and I think it's a possibility they beat Washington as well. Um, but it, it's going to be very interesting. I think uh, it'll be around 8-4 and four or 9-3 uh, and three for them this season. Best case is probably 10 wins, honestly, um, because they probably won't beat Ohio State, and they'll probably lose to someone like Minnesota or Penn State. But those are my thoughts on Michigan for this year. What are your guys' thoughts? Tell me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new around here, feel free to subscribe for more daily NFL and college football content. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.